Hi guys, in this session we're going to look at a quick example of how to do division of complex numbers. Alright, let's get started. Alright, here's an example. Evaluate the quotient of 2 plus 3i divided by 3 plus i. Now, you've got one complex number dividing by the other one. Alright, that's what we're trying to do here. But we're going to use one of these old tricks that we used for um, when we worked with thirds, where we wanted to rationalize the denominator. We would multiply by its conjugate third. Likewise, with complex numbers, um, this particular question has like many formats. They'll ask you to make the denominator real, or they might ask you to write it in uh, just x plus i, y format. But whatever it is, you're always going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So in this case, I have 2 plus 3i. Let's see, there we go. And I've got 3 plus i, which equals, here we go. Now, I've got to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of the denominator is 3 minus i. Now, whatever I've got to multiply in the denominator, I've also got to multiply in the numerator. So it'll be 3 minus i again. Now, it's just the old-fashioned way of multiplying complex numbers. So we have 2 plus 3i multiplied by 3 minus i, and that's divided by 3 plus i multiplied by 3 minus i. Of course expanding this, I'm just going to rush it through guys. You should all know how to expand this by this point. Alright, here we go. And of course now simplifying, don't forget that the i squared is negative 1. So simplifying this, we would end up with this right here. Sorry, I'm out of room here. So I just continue on here. So what we have is we have 6 plus 7i plus 3 divided by 10 because 9 minus minus 1 is equals 10 and of course we can simplify this slightly more and we'll get it as 9 plus 7i divided by 10. Now we can separate this to real parts and imaginary parts because the real part of this complex number would be 9 divided by 10 and of course the imaginary part would be 7 over 10 in this case I'm going to write it as 7i divided by 10. Now one of the things about multiplying uh, the complex numbers with its conjugate um, complex number is that you'll end up with difference of two squares pattern. So notice how I did 3 plus i multiplied by 3 minus i and of course what happens the middle terms actually get they disappear to become 0 and you literally went with 3 squared which is 9 and i squared which is negative 1. Uh, it's kind of like when you do what is it when you do x plus 5 times x minus 5. I mean when you, when, it, when you expand this you would simply just write it straight away as x squared minus 25 because the inside middle terms will actually become 0. So one of the that's one of the key things to remember when you're doing um, multiplying by or multiplying by the conjugate denominators is that you don't really need to write those middle terms. The middle terms that I'm talking about are right here. Hold on, let me just... there we go in the red box right there because those two middle terms will equal zero. So we only need to think about the outside terms. All right, guys, that's pretty much it that I can teach you for um, dividing complex numbers. Uh, it's always the same pattern. Uh, whenever you get a complex number divided by another complex number, you multiply by the conjugate of the denominator and you will end up with your real and imaginary part separated. Okay, that's about it from this session. Thank you for watching.